So one of the reasons our food forest has failed is because deer have been coming into our orchard and eating our fruit trees. So we got this handy dandy trail cam and, and we are going to put this up in the orchard food forest area and see if we can catch what's happening to the fruit trees. See if we can catch any deer coming onto the property because the other thing is we want to make sure we are prepared for them coming even closer. So we want to know where are they coming from? Where are they going? And how can we fence in our garden to protect it from the deer? Yeah. So let's go set this guy up. Malachi is coming along for the ride. Do you want this? <sighs> Give me the trail cam. I think the plastic's still on there. Okay, let's go. Let's go hands. set this up. Would you take it off before we go? I mean, we could put it here probably too. We doesn't have to be in the front corner necessarily. But so this is the house. And then our orchard is this area. Well, it's not going to be the orchard anymore, but it is the current orchard. This is where they're coming in and, and nibbling on the fruit trees. And they recently came in and ate all the new growth on our pear. So this pear tree right here was looking lovely, full of foliage. Now it has some new growth right here but it was full of foliage and the deer just like n ate all of it off. So that was kind of the final straw and when we decided we needed to get a trail cam because this was one of the few trees that was in good shape. Even though we are planning on moving the trees, we wanted to capture what's happening right now in our current orchard. So we're gonna set it up right over here in this back corner where my dog is right now on one of these posts and see if we can capture what's happening out here. Well, that's what I was saying, but I think it's, well, we'd have to cut it, some stuff back to get a clear picture. So we want it there? Probably facing more towards the tree line, I would think. There? Yeah, I mean, you can sight it. Teddy, are you gonna keep the deer away for us? We just wanna. You going to be a good dog? Tie this up so that Teddy doesn't like get hold of it and pull on it and bite it. Yeah, we can check it tomorrow morning and see if we get anything. Make sure the clips are actually working. Yeah, that works. Let's do that. Okay. Hey, dogs. The good news is we still have loads of blackberries. And I just want to show you how loaded this, this set of plants are before we head inside. Okay, if you can see all those little like areas where there was flowers, those are all blackberries. So like... They're just loaded. Like, I thought we had it. A... Malachi, are you ready to try some blackberries? Oh. <laughs> what? Malachi's face. <laughs> it's excited. Anything. That was nothing captured. Nothing! Because <laughs> there, was, there was me last night at 8.45 p.m. And then here's us now at 9.25 in the morning. <laughs> The other night we were having a bonfire for Father's Day and a deer came around the corner towards where we were having a fire pit. So we know they're closed, we know they're eating things. My strawberries were eaten. Let's see, let's see if we got any footage of this deer in action. I think there's a bug flying in there. Say what? This is from 1 a.m. Uh -huh. Very foggy and dark, can't see anything. Okay, here we got something. Oh, there's something running. I don't know what that animal Small is. Small or like Small. deer size? I don't know what it is. It's not clearly a fox. It's so far away. We should just take the memory card out and look it on the computer. Okay. Because it's too hard to tell on the screen. But do you see the thing trotting? Yeah, I saw it. What do you it. think it would trot like that? Well, it didn't look like a trot to me. I just can't bend Foxes down. Foxes don't run like that. I can't bend down that well with Malachi in my arms. Baby, it's a big dark world. You don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about that. I'll protect you with my lies. You don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about that. Just let me love you. 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 Just let me love you.
We have deer coming in the garden and this morning I noticed that they had eaten a bunch of leaves, almost all the leaves off of my plum tree, my black ice plum, and my cherry tree, the two trees that were already struggling and I had recently moved into our garden. So they are coming in the garden, they are eating the strawberries, they're eating the fruit trees, and I feel like it's only a matter of time before they make their way over to the tomatoes and peppers. And that really stresses me out. So this is what we're doing. We are going to get eight foot T-posts and five foot tall welded wire. And then we're gonna put a we're gonna put a strand of electric tape at the top to make it a six foot tall fence. And we're gonna run it on the perimeter of our property where the deer are coming through. So we're gonna run it from our dog run to the horse fencing. And hopefully that solves it. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us as we get those supplies and build the fence. And we'll see the results if this worked and keeps the deer out or if we are in some bigger, deeper trouble. Deeper Wish doo -doo. us luck. Wish us luck. Malachi, do you like the deer? Yeah? Do you like them? Getting the T-post in the truck. And so that's what they did. They pulled their money together. And there's that many kids. Mm. So we picked up the supplies the other day from Lowe's and Tractor Supply to put up our fence. Yeah. <laughs> and we are going to get the fence up. It is time. The deer have been eating my fruit trees. They've been eating my strawberries. And we need to get a fence up around the garden and our food forest before it is too late. So um, we're going to go outside, hang out. I'm going to get some planting done. And then I'm going to watch Malachi while Chris starts working on the fence. So let's head out outside and get some stuff done. Do you want to go to Dada? We've got these chocolate covered bananas that are super delicious. They're dark chocolate, so they're vegan. Malachi wishes he could have one. These three little starts that I am taking care of very tenderly, very carefully. That is because there's something really exciting. Any guesses? These guys right here are passion vine, which you might be a little surprised about because passion vine typically grows in like zones eight and warmer. I believe actually even like 10 uh, in California is where passion fruit, passion vine is grown really well. But you can actually grow a variety of passion vine called, it's getting really bright, maypop, which is native to the um, this side of the country. So I'm really excited to give Maypop a try. It took a really long time to germinate, but I've got, I've got at least five plants, I think, and a sixth one's coming up. So we're gonna have a lot of passion vine, and I think we're gonna plant it along our garden fence once we get that up. Got some very important things to say, Malachi. So one thing I've got to do in the garden real quick is pull out this garlic that we left in the garden accidentally last year. And I've got to pull out the fava beans because they are dying and diseased. They're not handling the heat well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them out. Um, and, and then we're going to plant sunflowers and soybeans in their place. So let's get that stuff done. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the open. Yeah, the country sounded so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling 
All right, guys, so Jen has talked a little bit about this, but we've been having a bit of a deer problem in our garden the past two, three weeks, and probably way before that, quite honestly. But we've been noticing damage on our fruit trees and damage in our garden most recently. And so we need to take some drastic measures in order to fight off the deer and protect our, our garden. Um, so we picked up some supplies to kind of put in a temporary fence and to just kind of take some, just to take some precautions against these deer. Uh, so we have eight foot T-posts. We have a five foot tall, a welded wire, four by two spacing. Um, and basically we're just gonna put in T-posts every eight feet, attach the welded wire, and we're gonna hopefully have a solution for the deer. So go ahead and follow along and you guys will see the process of us putting this up. We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday Baby, don't you okay so we're all finished up for tonight we got the t-posts all put in uh, they're all they're eight, once again they're eight foot t-posts we got them into the ground about two feet so they're six feet above the ground and we're ready to put the welded wire up we're gonna take the night off and we're gonna tackle that again in the, uh, sometime tomorrow and then we'll see how the fence performs. 